Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Black Series 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi Rebel Commando. All right, so uh, we picked up this figure at our local GameStop. Uh, really surprised to find it. And really cool looking figure. Can't wait to get this one open. Been waiting for this one for a while, ever since they announced this would be in the 40th anniversary wave. All right, so this is the classic Kenner image we see on the card back. It is a little bit blurry, I think, because the, you know, the card back is a lot bigger on the Black Series versus uh, the Vintage Collection. So I wish they could have cleaned up that image a little bit, but... It does, it does appear to be a shot from the movie. And, uh, you can see the figure or the person is standing in front of the bunker. So um, it was pretty cool, but um, yeah, I wish they could have cleaned it up a little bit and brought out more of the details. Uh, I do think they also should have cleaned that up a bit. I mean, just some simple Photoshop tools and they could have made that look pretty nice. Yeah. Let's take a look at the back of the figure real quick or the back of the card back. You can see there, we have images of wave two of the 40th anniversary figures. And uh, the only one we've got now this wave is Chewbacca. Because we basically already have every other figure in the wave and don't really need it. Except for maybe the Stormtrooper. It would be cool to get him on card. Yeah. And we did open Chewbacca on our live stream a couple weeks ago. Uh, our, if you want to watch that video or part of the unboxing you can watch the live stream that is the 1,000 subscriber giveaway live stream. All right, so before we unbox this figure, here is a close-up of the figure in the blister, and you can tell that they did this like the Hoth uh, Rebel Soldier where we have an alternate faceplate. So that is really cool. So you can have two different looks here. Uh, the Rebel figure does have more look options because it has a mask and goggles that you can adjust. Uh, which is not on this figure. So this figure is basically going to have two looks. You have the clean shaven look, younger face, and you have the older gray bearded face. But uh, still pretty cool. I like the uh, being able to build alternate figures with this. Now I'm hoping someday we'll get a Rebel Commando. They can kind of use this, tweak it a little bit, and make a Rebel Commando from Rogue One. I think that would be really yeah, cool to would, see. That would be cool. Yeah, they wouldn't have to do much to this figure. Maybe some recoloring. And um, and then, yeah, alternate faces, and you could do Rogue One commandos. All right, so now let's finally get this figure cracked open. And just real quick, look how thick this bubble is. That is just insane. Which I think if you got the Boba Fett figure on the 40th anniversary card, you're looking at about the same thickness bubble there. So that's a good two and a half inches. Maybe. They didn't even really have to make it that thick. I mean... We have the smaller back part for the accessories, but they could have just packed it into the front. I yeah. Mean, I there's don't a lot of space there. Could have put the pistol up here. Could have put the blaster like... Um, yeah, down here. Yeah. Or you could have put it in there, in there diagonally, kind of like how they used to do it back in Vintage Collection 1.0. How they kind of used to put the lightsabers in there diagonally in some yeah. of the figures. Yeah, there's definitely enough room. Uh, yeah, don't, don't make sense, really. So there we have the back tray with the weapons and backpack. And then the front tray is the figure and faceplate. Wow. All right, so we have the figure fully unboxed and it's a really cool figure. I really like this figure. Really nice uh, addition to the Return of the Jedi collection. Now the figure does have some nice accessories. The backpack looks really nice. Unfortunately, the backpack, one of the drawbacks of it is the backpack does not have storage for the alternate face like the Rebel Hoth Soldier does where you can put this alternate face in the backpack. And I think that's a huge uh, loss there. They could have easily made this backpack with the open spot and the flap where you could open it up, drop that face down in there and have storage for it. Also, for some reason, he doesn't have a holster for the DH-17 pistol. I mean, why? I don't know. Like, why not have a holster for it? Now you just have to have it just laying around. And it's just so weird. I mean, they could have easily just put one right there on the belt. But no. Just why? 
It does look pretty cool, though. I gotta say, I really like the uh, like gradient on the pants, like the camo gradient, and I really like the look of the figure. His uh, clothes aren't really too shiny, like most of the, or like some of the figures are today. And uh, the head sculpts actually look pretty nice. The face sculpts. Yeah, everything is really nicely detailed, and it gives me like uh, Battlefront vibes whenever I'm looking at this figure. Like, yeah. it, it looks like the Rebel. Uh, commando or rebel uh you know figure that you play in battlefront when you're like on uh indoor on the indoor maps yeah. so um uh, yeah it gives me a lot of the vibes like that just because of the the face sculpt has these sharp angles to it and and it uh, looks pretty good so next we're gonna we'll let's switch out face the face plate and show you how that works um as you can see there the helmet is not removable, and there's the strap for the helmet underneath there, so you can kind of see a line there where the face uh, drops down. So I'm going to try to just, you got to be careful. You don't want to scratch any of the paint apps on the face with your fingers. So just be really careful and get underneath his chin and just kind of pry it open like that, and it should just snap off for you. And there you can see it has this... <laughs> Um, now he looks like some kind of uh, worst world <laughs> um, and Android or something. But uh, yeah, you can see it has a big plug there, and then the, face, the back of the face sculpt has a hole there that it plugs into. So here is the other face sculpt that gives it kind of a Captain Old Man Captain Rex look, or actually, I think it's uh, the correct name for that character is uh, Nick. Nick Sanantis or something like that. So there is the old man look, and uh, yeah, I remember the the picture for that when it like blew up, and everybody was like, "Is this Captain Rex in the Battle of Endor?" And uh, I believe Dave Filoni did actually say it was or something like that. Or he, he like hinted at it in some way. Dave Filoni did state that, and then I think he retracted it or something at some point because I don't know what the deal was, but there was like uh, some controversy over just like anything in the star wars fandom everybody has to make controversy over everything just because somebody says something yeah it's kind of annoying but uh yeah it'd be cool if that they just kind of made that character captain rex and he was in actually in return of the jedi and they did kind of make a callback to it in star wars rebels i i think it was the series finale the season four finale he wore like an indoor suit yeah so that was pretty cool to see and um, this face sculpt doesn't really look like Captain Rex to me. Uh, if they if they wanted to make it look like Rex, they should have made it look like Tamara Morrison. And to me, this face sculpt really just it kind of reminds me of the uh, I think his name what was his name Ray Ray Stevenson or something like that. The guy that plays um uh, the guy from Ahsoka. Balin something. Yeah, Balin. Yeah, the the in the new Ahsoka series. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. He died a, a few weeks ago, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what this face sculpt uh, reminds me of. It reminds me of him. So yeah, who knows? We'll probably we'll probably get a figure for him like a, a year or two now after the Ahsoka series comes out. But uh, yeah, this figure is pretty nice. I gotta say, uh, I do wish it had a holster for the for the gun though. Yeah, it's kind of a downgrade to the Hoth one in terms of uh, like uh, accessories, storage, and stuff like that. So yeah, this this figure is really nice. I mean, you get all the new modern articulation. The uh, um, the knees are covered. Uh, the like yeah, you joints. can't even really see the knee joints on this. That's that's amazing. And so then you can bend the knees back that far. You get that single joint there, like all the new Black Series figures. Of do. course, in in typical Hasbro fashion, when you when you when you uh, when you pull the knee back into its like like pull it back again. Yeah, in typical Hasbro fashion, the part of the knee that you can't normally see is not painted at all. So, oh, yeah. you know, that's typical Hasbro. Right there. Yeah, it would have been nice if that got some cam camo paint apps. Which they could have painted that before they assembled the figure, I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, and then you have upper thigh rotation. You have ball joint hips. You have a uh, ball joint in the uh, waist here. The uh, abdominal crunch. Yeah. And then you have butterfly joints in the shoulders, 
single elbow joint here that allows him to uh, hold his weapon down properly with the hinged uh, wrists uh, so overall really nice you have a double ball joint uh, neck with the head attachment here so you get a lot of head movement and then uh, the backpack is there's no peg for the backpack so it is held by these two straps which is nice you also get some G.I. Joe vibes from this, the G.I. Joe classified vibes from this figure with his yeah. backpack and everything. And uh, the the mold on the pants and stuff. So really cool figure. It's a, make a fine addition to our Return of the Jedi collection on our display shelf. You have this bandolier here that is molded separately and can move around. Has some pouches, some like blaster charges or something attached to it. So you can move that around freely. Looks really nice all together and this will look good with the indoor leia luke and han all right so real quick we're going to do a comparison you know, with the hoth rebel soldier as you can see here the hoth rebel soldier does come with a few more accessories and he does have a uh, holster for his blaster pistol which is nice and of course, uh, anybody that knows that figure, the backpack uh, has storage for the alternate faceplate. Both of these figures give off like really big Battlefront vibes. I mean, like the customization uh, that should have came with jetpacks, though. I feel like that would be really cool. Um, especially they should make a uh, Hasbro should make a deluxe like Rebel Trooper from Battlefront where it was like came with a jetpack you could put on it came with a bunch of different weapons from the game um you know you could like switch the heads out with like a duros head or a rhodian head or a soliston head that would be pretty cool i think or you could just they could just re-release these figures as a gaming greats version and then yeah come with jetpacks and stuff yeah and final uh comparison with these two uh the glaring fact is that the the new rebel commando is a considered a deluxe figure with that um you know increased price point and this hoth rebel soldier uh is not it was a regular release you know back in what 2020 during the 40th anniversary of empire strikes back yeah and you get a lot more accessories with the regular figure this figure is missing accessories uh or doesn't have as many i don't know if they're considered missing but and the paint apps are a lot less you know compared to the hoth rebel soldier so um it's just um yeah, it's just yeah, not a good situation here with this uh, figure. This figure would make it a perfect mainline release at the at the normal price point of a Black Series figure, but for some reason this is considered deluxe. Quick tip from us, the fans: if you're gonna make a deluxe figure with a deluxe price point, actually make it deluxe. I know, I know, um, we're basically broken records at this point, telling you this over and over again, but just come on. Add the accessories that we want, you know, for the deluxe price point. Add the paint apps that we want for the deluxe price point. And again, I know we sound like a broken record because we said this a million times before. And it's, uh, I mean, just, just, it's basically normal figures we're, we're, we're getting for a higher price. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous, honestly. Yeah. Look at the weapons. The weapons don't even have paint apps on them. They're just, yeah. you know, molded pl plastic, black plastic or dark gray plastic. But um, it's, some of these deluxe figures Hasbro delivers on, like the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, that one was a pretty good one. Yeah, and this one personally didn't hurt us as bad because we picked it up at GameStop. We got a discount, five percent off, plus Pro we got a discount, or something like that. and then uh, we had a gift card. So really, I mean, it didn't really. But if we were paying for this outright, yeah, it would have been uh, probably too much to go for, really, for what we get here. It is a cool figure look, you know, the looks of the figure looks really nice and looks really cool. But um, yeah, it do, it's definitely not deserving of that deluxe price point. And just one final thing we're going to do with the comparison is see if we can get the Hoth faceplate to work on this Rebel Soldier. Even though if you look right here, you can kind of see they, for whatever reason, I don't understand this, they made the head... The little face plates have different um, type of pegs that hold them. And to me, it looks like the Hoth one is a lot bigger. and It's more of a, a trapezoid type look than this uh, new peg. But I just want to try it real quick just to make sure. Let's see if we can get this to work or 
uh, look decent. It probably won't work at all, but it would be cool if it is, because then that would, uh, for army building purposes, you could have more choices and more figures out here. But yeah, it's not going to work at all. It's not even going to snap in there or even come close to snapping in or even looking halfway decent. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a big bummer. They should have uh, looked at the Hoth soldier and just molded these face places, face plates after um, this figure and made them compatible. I mean, how hard would that have been? And then you would have had more options for this figure and the Hoth figure for army building. All right, Alex. So um, we have a Return of the Jedi diorama set up here, and you can see the Rebel uh, Commando looks really good with Han, Leia, and Luke in their indoor look. So, Alex, how do you rate the Black Series Deluxe Rebel Commando? I think I'll give him an 8 out of 10. He's almost perfect, but there's things missing, like the uh, pistol holster that we could have gotten. And, um, you know, also... Uh, the paint apps I feel like could have been better. Like I feel like he should have gotten maybe some like mud on his feet and boots, and um, you know just like overall like a wash made him look muddy. Like he was a uh, in the middle of warfare on Endor. That would have been pretty cool. And then again the blasters that he came with did not come with any uh, paint applications on them. Like the DH-17 the. Uh, the barrel there is supposed to be silver, and uh, they didn't paint it on there, so 8 out of 10 for me. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, 3 stars out of 5, and that's mainly because this is being sold as a deluxe figure, and um, so I'm taking 2 stars off for that. If this was a mainline figure at the normal Black Series price like it should, I would definitely give this 5 stars, but I'm taking 2 stars off for that deluxe factor that really isn't there i mean uh, if this had more paint apps some more accessories um yeah some more details uh, you know everything that a deluxe figure should have then yeah this would probably deserve the five stars but uh, as is right now and it is a great figure i love the look of this figure it looks great um it has all the modern articulation and everything and the swappable face plates and but yeah, another disappointment was that the face plates aren't compatible with the Hoth soldier. That would have made this really cool where you could interchange those different face plates, really army build this figure in multiple configurations. Uh, along with it would have added uh, additional uh, configurations for the Hoth soldier. So a uh, huge missed opportunity there, Hasbro. So for me, three stars. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you for joining us. and. Uh, watching this video all the way through if you'd like to support what we do here hit that join button on our youtube channel and become a member and that would help support our video and our channel and what we do here also subscribe if you're not subscribed and like this video that really helps our videos out and leave us a comment down below tell us what you think of the rebel commando from return of the jedi alex take us out may the force be with you always